Today we're gonna fix my dodgy Wi-Fi with this. Wait, 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 hang on a second. Rewind. Right, so about six months ago, I got this. It's a Wi-Fi 6E gaming router from MSI, and I was excited to experience a nice speed boost given that the one that was supplied with my gigabit ethernet package is old and terrible. There's just one small problem though. It didn't really improve anything at all. Let me explain. So this is my setup. This is where I play games, I upload videos. I need fast, reliable internet. However, my router is on the opposite side of my apartment and I can't really run a cable through several rooms, so I rely on Wi-Fi. Now, if I compare the old and the new router when I'm standing right next to them, there is a clear winner. So the problem isn't the router, it's how far away my gaming setup is. But today, we're gonna fix that with this. This is the Romy BE Lite, or B Lite? I don't know. Shout out to MSI for sending over and sponsoring this video. It is a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system capable of connecting over 120 devices. Now, this is gonna be my first time trying a mesh system, so we should probably talk about how it works and how it's hopefully gonna solve our problems. Before we get to that though, we need to unbox it. Right, so included in the box are two mesh nodes in this very clean looking white triangular design. And then we have a few cables to get everything up and running, including two wall mounts along with mounting hardware in case you wanna put them up on the wall. Now, as far as how they work, it's pretty straightforward. So you have a primary node so this is going to connect to my existing modem or router via an ethernet cable and then the secondary node is going to be placed somewhere between the primary and our setup and we should get a much stronger connection on those devices which should hopefully translate to a more reliable connection and faster speeds. Now it got me thinking, well is this essentially just a Wi-Fi range extender? Yes and no, let me explain. So here's a picture of a regular range extender. You plug it into a wall socket, it takes your Wi-Fi signal and boosts it to cover more of your home. However, it does this by creating a separate network, so you normally have to manually select which one you want to be connected to. And not only that, but you tend to lose some speed and performance due to bandwidth having to be split between the router and your devices. Now in a mesh system, all nodes communicate with each other to create a unified network. As you move throughout your house, you'll seamlessly connect to whichever node has the strongest signal. Performance is also generally improved due to more efficient communication between nodes, along with better traffic management. And in the case of this kit, multi-link operation backhaul allows the nodes to use several bands at the same time to reduce congestion. Now, in my case, I'm only gonna have one secondary node, so it's not gonna be a mesh system in the fullest sense unless I add more of these, but the apartment isn't that big and this should at least get me a much stronger signal where it matters most. Okay, so setup should be very simple. We'll get the power plugged in and connect the primary node to our router using the included ethernet cable. And then we'll place our secondary node in the office, which is right next to the gaming setups and the living room. I went ahead and downloaded the Romy app to complete the setup, so we'll run through these few menus. It's pretty much plug and play. We just have to scan the code on the primary node to get things started, along with giving the network a name. Now, if you bought them as a set, they'll automatically pair together. Otherwise, you can just click the plus symbol in the top right to add any additional nodes. And when you see a solid white light, you're ready to go. Simple as that. Right, now that we've got it installed, Let's run a test. So for the before, we are connected via Wi-Fi to my MSI router. And as you can see, we're topping out around 400 megabits per second, which is not bad, but it's nowhere near the 1000 megabits per second that I pay for. And now for the after result, this is us now using the mesh Wi-Fi system. And we managed to hit 770 megabits per second, which is pretty impressive. Okay, so it is in fact much better. It's not quite the 900 plus that I'd be getting standing right next to my router, but it's faster than what I had before. And most importantly, I now have an absolutely solid signal. Also, our living room TV is just on the other side of this room and will pretty often just drop off the network due to weak signals. So again, this should definitely help with that. Now with this in mind, it's important to temper your expectations a little bit, especially if you're not hardwiring mesh nodes together with an ethernet cable, which I mean, if you were, well then these are technically just access points. That's kind of the definition of a mesh system, wireless backhaul. I should probably also mention that just because it's Wi-Fi 7 doesn't mean it uses the six gigahertz band. This thing only operates on 2.4 and five gigahertz frequencies with the aim of being better at penetrating walls and covering more distance. Now, is any of this gonna be a good old fashioned ethernet cable? No. But like I said, I'm in an apartment, so I can't really be making major modifications to internal cabling and networking. And I mean, if it's the same for you and you just want a plug and play solution to improve bad coverage or dead spots in your home, it's great. In my case, I got a speed boost as a direct result of improving signal strength, and it was super easy to set up as well. I also really like the app. There's a ton of options for you to tweak if you should want to, including setting up guest networks, parental controls, and configuring the built-in security. All in all, a pretty awesome upgrade to my admittedly very lacking home network setup. I promise, guys, we will make it better. In fact, we should probably upgrade the whole thing to Wi-Fi 7 soon. If you want to pick one up for yourself, I'll have the links down below in the description. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And I'll catch you all in the next one.